Hi guys, so I've been reading and replying to almost every single comment on my replying to comments on my feminism videos video and you guys are being kind of horrible and I say guys and I mean literally the male gender I'm sorry it's not all of you guys but seriously I have been called some horrible stuff in my lifetime, but this, this tops it. I got called a 15 year old whore, get my fucking age right, that's brainwashed and inbred. Not inbred, probably brainwashed, but aren't we all? And then he told me to use a par learn how to use a paragraph filth. I wrote, what? Seven lines? Seven lines is a fucking paragraph, dick! Um, I had... <laughs> almost 60 lines from some people told I had bad self-esteem I, I, being honest and you wonder why I think I need feminism because you're basically going no, go back to the kitchen bitch we don't need you here when I try and tell you what it's like to be female do you know what it's like to be female? unless you're a drag queen or female probably not and if you're a drag queen you haven't probably got the whole feeling you know what it's like? It's horrible. Okay? I'm not a really strong feminist. I'm not a radical feminist. I'm not gonna strip off, show my boobs to the camera and be like, yeah, feminism. This is equality right here. Free, na free the nipple all the way, like, completely, but I wouldn't do it myself. I praise those who do for the confidence that they have. But I, I don't mind chivalry. I don't I, I love it when people open doors for me. It makes me feel happy. But that doesn't mean that I don't care about being oppressed. There is a very big difference. Um, I have had total of seven male boyfriends. Just felt the need to put that in there. I'm sorry. Seven. Two of which were abusive, both mentally and one physically. I've had one person who isn't counted in this list who claimed to be my boyfriend for two weeks when I had never asked him out, or he had never asked me out, vice versa, and none of that ha was had. He told almost an entire college, and then I got called a slut by an entire college and him for moving on and going out with someone else, even though we were just friends. Trust me, I'm not saying I've had it hard, but it's been fucking difficult for me. And I hate people who say, you don't know what I've been through, because how do you know what I've been through? Unless you watch my YouTube channel, you listen to everything I say and everything I've ever said and every conversation I've ever had, how do you know what I've been through? Even my parents don't know what I've been through. How do you know? Do you know what it's like to have cigarettes stubbed out on your arms? I don't think you do. Do you know what it's like to be slapped across the face by someone you love and told that you're worthless? I don't think you do. And if you do, I'm sorry for you and I feel you and I know what it's like and it's horrible. Do you know what it's like to walk into a college or a school every morning and get that look off so many people that just it, it radiates disapproval do you know what that's like if you do i feel you but if you don't don't fucking come around and tell me that i'm wrong for believing that i shouldn't have my values and my beliefs stamped on by people of the opposite gender that i shouldn't have my sexuality stamped out I was reading a book the other day, this book, which looks quite obvious from an angle, what it's about, but it's actually not. A lot of it is about kind of oppression and that kind of thing. People back in that age were burned for being either too beautiful or too ugly. Christians, by creating the Virgin Mary, stamped out women's sexuality it is impossible to be a virgin and have a child without IVS and even that technically you're not a virgin 
tech I'm gonna I'm gonna get quite technical with that. I'm gonna let you figure that out for yourself. Where do you think they have to put needles and stuff for that to happen? Yeah. And mm, this talks about how um you're either overly sexualized in that time for believing in female gods and the mother earth or you believe in a male god and no one ever said god had to be white and male did they it's not written anywhere that the god had to be white and male but he is isn't he when i say god you either think martin freeman or white male guy with a beard and white hair in the sky so when people came around paganism was was the big religion for a long time and then christians came in and slowly stamped it out slowly until they had most people on their side and they started burning people and drowning people and i don't know why it's not talked about more because seriously what the fuck guys and it should really be talked about more because everyone's like oh christians are great they can't do any wrong i am atheist Actually, no, technically I'm agnostic. I'm open to the concept of religion, but don't entirely believe in anything. I think, like, if you look at it, Christians took over most pagan holidays. Christmas, pagan holiday, winter solstice. They took over their feasting day and made it their own. That's why Jesus wasn't born then. Jesus wasn't born at Christmas. Big shock you guys but he, he wasn't and that wasn't the day he fucking rose either don't don't try and patronize me with that bullshit i know it's bullshit anyway what's she talking about oh yeah sexuality and in the in the kind of i'm gonna wear a corset and stockings way not in the kind of i'm attracted to this or that way just to clarify there if you stamp out a woman's sexuality you are either back in those times you were the virgin mary and you were a slut for sleeping with more than one man and you saved yourself till marriage or you were awful slutton woman who uses her sexuality to like i don't know i can't think of the word right now but you know like uses magic to get men to come to her apparently that's called being a siren and being attractive it happens, surprisingly. If you're a siren, you're a person that lures men towards you with your looks. Not with what you say, with your looks. We're not allowed to wear what we want to wear in public. Not because there's rules against it. Because you'll get looks from people. People will be disgusted. You'll get looks of disgust from people. I wore a corset to college on last Friday and I felt so confident for the entire day I was so happy and then it just it loses its novelty when people question it why are you wearing a corset because I want to isn't that like really kind of sexual no it's just a very tight bone t-shirt what's your point it stops there. It li literally, my boobs are more out in this fucking dress than they were in that thing because it comes up to here and it covers them entirely. And just because it shows my waistline off a bit more, it's converted as sexual. If I'd worn that with stockings and suspenders and high heels and gone to college looking like a porn star, I would understand why people would be a bit like, mm, not really appropriate. But it pisses me off that that's the thing. Right, this is almost 10 minutes long, and I'm going to leave you guys with that thought. But if you can, read up on paganism and stuff, because it's really cool. And this book especially, because the artwork is beautiful and stuff. It's really pretty. Oh, look, boobs. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of boobs in this book. But it is, it is awesome, and it talks about Satanism. And Satanism and Paganism are not the same thing. Do not get them confused. It pisses me off. And I'm not even a e I'm not either of them. 
Bye guys, I love you and I'll talk to you soon. I'm sorry if this video was a waste of your time, but fuck you.